Tarda or Tarda or page forty until this. Um, okay, we're in the middle of the second column. Okay, last thing the Rebbe was explaining was why Yitzchok wanted to bless Esav. He wanted to bring down the Makif level. He wanted to reveal his essence. And therefore, because Esav is the, the, the clip of Gvod of Yitzchok, and he wanted to transform everything. But that's not really what happened. Okay? So he said, Vine called Yavanasa Pasik. This is all explaining the Pasik, the Fidaita Shal Yitzchok, according to Yitzchok's understanding. Shehaven Shehesa Vayil of Fanav that he thought Esav was standing in front of him. And therefore he said, Kerecha Sada Shebirache Shem Malchus Datsilas. And he went into the whole thing that we learned yesterday. Achbeem is Hosea Yaakov. But in reality, it was Yaakov. Which means, if Tayyid is Emes, that means all these things have to be said to Yaakov. Because Lepel, bottom line, who stood in front of Yitzchak? Yaakov, not Esav. This was a whole explanation about Reirech Beni Makif level Memayla Memata Lemayla that whole thing. But how do you explain it for Yaakov? So he says in the Isa Medrash, it says in the Medrash like this: Yarech Esreich Begadov, he smelled the smell of his clothing. Beged comes the word Begad, which means rebellion. Begadov means rebellion. Begdav is the level about tshuva, but in the Kedusha, what do you mean about about tshuva? One who rebelled and came back. That's the level about tshuva. Shbechinas makiv mishchel and the bchele yater. That they have a much stronger because they were on the opposite side. They were into evil. So now when they come back, because of the distance, the love to Hashem is much more. Shabazayram al Pasik Avram Zokim Baba Yamim to Zer says on the Pasik. Avram was old coming in days. Sakon and he murdered the Tyuf the Machin. Fortune is people of Tshuva that they bring down a greater level of Elokus. Pedush the Mail and Bhdesha Tulkla Nefesh says that Mail in order for the Nefesh to handle that level of Kedusha. Shain the Bukhinas Kalahochl. They could have lost it, and the meaning like this. Lachera, like we learned many times, like I said, the Blazer Ben Dodaya didn't do mitzvahs, right? He was this Russia. When he became the Baal Tshuva, we called Rabbi Elazar Ben Dodaya and Rebach Rabbi, and he said, Yeshke Lalam of Shachas, the person acquires his Olam Abba in one, in one hour, right? In one second. So the Chayyach said this, that's the question. Okay, it cleaned him from what he did, it cleansed him. From what the dirt that he had on him, but in order to go to Gan Eden, you need like we learned before vessels. Gan Eden needs the level of vessels to be able to handle the kedusha, and he didn't have any vessels. So it says, what does it mean? That's the megdei megdei shetuchon nefesh says. It's a level of alokus higher than nefesh can handle. But she ain't kim ba Avram, but Avram Avinu it says ba ba yomim, ba ba yomim. Avram Avinu had a keli. Because all his days were complete. That means he did the Avaida in its entirety. So he therefore Avram Avinu had this level of completeness. He had the level of the Kali for that level of Kedusha. Chinas Kali Levush. Valos man kazeb. And the Misarus is the Lusat that awakening from below. Shubachinas makiv. Meneshem is bain. And Begadullah is saying to Baruchu Batsmei. Baruchu Batsmei Vichvedi. Ha'at l'chayda. You see, he says like this. If you have his brain in us, in a level of alakus you can understand, then you understand it. <coughs> then you have a vessel for it. If you have a meditation into the level of Hashem that you can't understand, so then your seichel is not a vessel for what you're trying to understand because it's above understanding. So he says, Hashem himself doesn't change. There's no meaning world, there's no connection to him whatsoever. And it's only a ray of his shame. Like we learned, a ray of his name is Allah Eretz Shemayim. And Vinayik Rebbechin is Baal Tshuva. And therefore he's called the level Baal Tshuva. Af mi shein aved is But But meaning like this. A Baal Tshuva doesn't mean, and this is what the saying like this. A Baal Tshuva doesn't mean a guy sinned and now he's coming back. 
a Balchuva means one has a tremendous longing to Hashem in a way that he can't handle it. He doesn't, he's not a vessel for it. Meaning, he's meditating into a level of halakus that he knows he can't understand. He just can't get it. That's also a level of Balchuva. But we learned many times when the, the Misnagdim wanted to, to debate al Rebbe. And one of the questions they asked al Rebbe was, how can the Zayar say that Mashiach is going to come la Soviet Tzadikar Bet Yufta? He gets a deacon to do tshuva. You're basically saying they sin, and then you have to do tshuva. That's what you're saying, according to the Zayar. He said, how can you say that we sin? When such Sadikim, how could you say that we sin? So the Al-Tarebbe explained to them that the level of Baal Tshuva is not for sin. There's one level of Baal Tshuva, Tshuva Tata, right? Tshuva Tata, the lower level of Tshuva, the second half of Hashem's name, is the level of Tshuva for sin. But then you have Tshuva Ilah, which means a returning to a level of Hashem that you really can't handle. That means everybody is about Tshuva. Everyone. Because nobody understands that level. <coughs> We're talking about people that try to understand and don't, not people that don't bother Come understanding. On. Yeah, that's not about you. <laughs> yeah, well, even the highest levels of Sadiqim are the Baal Teshuvah because... He says the person with that longing to Hashem, because he understands, he meditates into a level of Hashem that he can't understand, so therefore, he, it's not something he understands. So therefore, he's longing to something like I said many times, this is what they say, that when Freud came to the Rebbe, Freud met with the Rebbe Rashab. Okay? And, and Freud said about the Rebbe Rashab, after he spoke to him for a while, he said his problem is that he yearns for something that he knows he can't reach. Is that a problem? For me and you, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm saying his problem, his bothers him. Not, I wouldn't, if it's the wrong word, depressed, you know what I mean? But not, God forbid, the Rebbe's not depressed. Yeah? It means what bothers him? That he, there's a level that he wants and he knows he can't reach. That's the level of Balchuva. And he says that's why it's called Balchuva, even a person doesn't have a Vedas. Rak, he only cries about the separation, how far he is away from Hashem. That's the level of Reyesh Man. To the level of Makif, Laham Shech Bechinus Makif, the Elamital Shemayim. Okay? So he says, this is how it works by Yaakov Avinu. Not because like, like he thought it was ace of sinning and all that. You have to be a surusa the satin level of tshuva, and then you bring down the makifim level. He said, "By Yaakov wasn't for Avedas. By Yaakov Avinu was he was longing for something that was above seichel, and that's the level of reich by Yaakov. Achlahov and cause to understand though, hala Yaakov is kedusha, but Yaakov Avinu is already kedusha. He does have these levels of revelation of elokus." What did he need bracha for? What did Yitzchok want to bless him? In reality, that it's Yaakov, right? He wanted to bless him that he should get all these super great levels from, of Kedusha from above. But L'chere Yaakov Vino had those levels. What's he giving in the bracha for? Bracha betesis v'ribi hamshacha. But what he gave him, the bracha v'yit and v'yachse v'yitim. Shama m'shoch m'mail m'yisei the rishtaushlis. A level higher than world, sheyna l'fi'er ech rishtaushlis. That's not at all in the realm of rishtaushlis. He wanted to bless Yaakov Avinu to get a level of kedusha which is infinitely great. That's what he wanted to bring down. Greater than Yaakov had on his own. It's like when the Daut Rebbe wanted to bless the Samach Sedek, he wanted to give him a bracha that he should know Torah. And Samach said he declined the bracha. And he said, Torah, you have to work on it. I don't want gifts from above. Then later, Samach Sadiq regretted it. And he said, because Torah is so infinite, as much as al Rebbe would have given me, I would have been able to work from that level up. So I would have been even greater. Shein l'fiyarek, dog v'sidish. 
What does it mean? It mean abundance of grain and wine. Elo halochas v'hagodis. These are the halochas, which is grain. And the hagoda, which is the secret of Teh, which is called wine. Shen eslav shuluvushim gashmim. Of zroyim bechesed. V'chein kol ha-teda. See, puri mice is the same thing, all the stories of Teda. By the way, the Altarebbe says in Tanya that the Ein Yaakov, mean the stories of Teda, Rev say this at Teda Gnuzimbam. Most of the secrets of Teda are in the stories of the Gemara. Is it the story? The secrets of Teda mm-hmm. are, are in, in, the, in the stories of Teda. V'chein and Nevi'im. Shev the Maise B'Shimin, Shimshin, Pelegish B'Gilvel, Oh, all the story of Malachim, Sipuri Maishim, Gemara, Rabbi Barbachana, with all the dreams in Barbasa, Rabbi Barbachana had these crazy visions that he saw in dreams. Hakal Merum is Ben Seda Satera. There's an abundance. He says, all these stories is not some stories. There's in depth secrets of Tera in all of these stories, whether it's Shimshin's story, whether it's Pelagish Begiva, whether it's the, all the story of the kings and Malachim, the stories of the Gemara, how come Rubens Ben said this at Torah? Valder, the Gamki Maisa Mitzis, the same thing with the actions of Mitzis. Shai de Sok, a lul of Tzitzis, it's filling Gashmim, then you get Hamshachas, or in Sabarhu, Shalamayla Mayla Mishtalshas. So in other words, he said like this, why, what did he bench Yaakov Avinu if Yaakov Avinu had these levels? He said, he wanted to give the Rev Dogen the Seder, the abundance of halachas and secrets of Taylor. He was giving him the bracha that he could reach a level that he couldn't reach on his own. In Yaakov Avinu. Not because he sinned, there was no sins. But even that level had this tremendous longing telukus in a way that Yetzra gave it to him that he wouldn't have without it. Shalafi Adar Vesedish Ishbasia. Hachayis, because in the world of Ishtaushlus, when it comes down to this world, Chafalaf, the Chayis Mitzumtum Eid is very, very limited. Abardei Shayor Erdav. May Erdin Tzal Baruch Hu Ba'at Melchvedei. In order for this relevant, Ishtaushlus itself is very limited. Who could bring down in limitation the infinite to bring down into Yaakov Avinu the level of Kedusha which is the above world? That's only Yitzchak, which is Sheder Shagvuris. But Sina de Kardenisa, she Kava Mida, which is a measuring stick, she made it the Chacham, or Misham Nimshach Taisis Ervegilu, and that's what comes, this revelation from above. Gambasia Gashm is even into the world of Asiya. The Chsidis asks the question Alukim is Tsimtsum, limitation. Yeah. Why does it say Viyit and Lachoho Alukim? Yeah, but why Alukim? Alukim is concealment. You should say Viyit and Lachoho Yudke Vavke, Kale, which is Chesed, Yudke Vavke, which is Midas Arachamim. Why does it say V'yit and L'chah HaLukim, which is a level of Tzimtzum? So Chassidus explains what the Lukim over here means, the powerful Gvura. With the power of Gvura, because otherwise it's limited. With super might, then Yitzchok was, because Yitzchok was Gvura. He was able to bring down into Yaakov levels that Yaakov couldn't reach on his own. And therefore, by the way, in order to be a Kali for that Bracha, he had to come in with trickery. Bemirma. Rashi is a bechachma. But he had to come with trickery, like we said yesterday. You can't reach infinite through normal re- m- m- measures. Normal measures are limited. In order to reach unlimited, you need to be crazy. Basically. Is that why uh, Yaakov was able That's why everybody's to crazy. prevail over the uh, angel of uh, Ethos? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, what is Elohim um, is lower than Havaya, but does that mean in the Shoresh Elohim is higher than Havaya? Yeah. So is that another reason why Elohim, why mm-hmm. Elohim is because the Shoresh of it is higher? Yeah. Because in the source, Elohim represents Gvura. Gvura is might. Might, you could do things that normally you can't do. So Yitzchok Avinu was able to bring down a level higher than world 
v'yitan l'chol like in mitala shemayim, which is the level of Atik, we said do, do never stops. Mishmani ha'aretz, you know all the great levels. Yitzchok was able to bring it down. But, but, uh, over there means limitation. Here, v'yitan l'chol like means an abundance of brach, a powerful brach. What? But uh, Abraham had more uh, chesed. I mean, Abraham had more tests. No. Like, uh, how come he had more tests and he could overcome it? Uh, but he was chesed. Or Yehuda was more stronger to bring the. the so Yitzchak had a bunch of tests, but every person had a different avodah. When you daven Shmuel Esrei, you say, Baruch Hashem Elokeinu Melkei Vesimu, Elokei Avram, Elokei Yitzchak, Elokei Yaakov. Yeah, is it not the same God? It is the same God. So why do we say Elokei Avram Yitzchak Yaakov? Why do you say Elokei Avram, Elokei Yitzchak, and Elokei Yaakov? Elokei and Elokei Avram say no Elokei Avram Yitzchak Yaakov. It's the same God. The answer: Each one had their own unique relationship with Hashem. Avram had it with Chesed, Yitzchak with Gvor, Yaakov with Tiferes, and that manifested itself in their Avaida. Avram with hospitality, Yitzchak with digging wells, and Yaakov with colored sticks, which is the level of Tiferes. So each one had their own relationship with Hashem. And because we're their children, so each Jew has within him Avram Yitzchok and Yaakov. The Shvatim not. The 12 Shvatim also had their own unique way of serving Hashem. But what Reuven had was not what Shimon had, was what Nalevi had, and Yehuda and Yisach as well. Each one had their own unique abided that if you belong to that tribe, then you had it. You didn't belong to that tribe, you didn't have it. The Shvatim were not Avinus. Right? We don't see Reuven Avinu, Shimon Avinu, Yaak, I mean, Levi Avinu. Because Avinu, they incurred in all of us because the Chazak Vertiferens was the level that they gave us. In Baitel Halakim, could we say it's Halakim because, because the Abodah, he wanted him to work in this war, the Abodah, Elokim. This war. Lakim doesn't mean Aveda, Lakim means Simpson. <laughs> okay, let's start this. Okay, again from the top of the page of Chavalov. Vachdei, she yor erd amir until Baruch Batman and Chved, Batman and Chved, is all Yedei Yitzchok, Daik is only through Yitzchok, which is Shere, Shagvur, Butsine, Kadinisu, Shikava Mida, which is a measuring stick. Shemei, the Lias Choch, Mumi Sham, Nim Shakhtay, Susur, Vigilui. Now, from that level of Yitzchak comes the revelation from above, even into physical worlds. That's what he said. Mitala shemayim umishmani haaretz, even into the physical world. V'zel v'yit and l'chol likim. The gam b'bchinas simsum, even into the level of simsum, Hashem should give you. In other words. Even into your level of limitation, you should have the infinite. Mm-hmm. Because who's the v'yitain? V'yitain l'cha. Who should give it to you? Yud kevav kiv, that said before in the Pasuk. Then it says, Olekim, because it says, right before that, it says, Sheberachai Hashem. Re'ed e'ech b'ni, k'reach asada sheberachai Hashem. And then it says, V'yitain l'cha. So who's the Vita Nacha? The level of Yitke Vavke. But it goes into the level of Timsum. And he said, Av comes Ez Beli Daid to Shul Yitzchak. That was even, in other words, like this. Yitzchak thought he's blessing Esav. The pearl he's giving the bracha to Yaakov. So he's saying all these things to Yaakov, not only knowing, not even realizing what he's saying. Right? Yitzchak thought it was Esav. Like we said, he comes into the level of Minma. It can't come in into the intellectual level. Because to bring a higher than world into world is not logical. You can't do it. So therefore, how did Yaakov get the brachas? Also through a not normal way. A non-conventional way. Conventional way is limitation. But what the... Uh, what, what bracha he wanted to give Yaakov uh, anyway? Not the same. Later on, he would have given Yaakov a bracha. 
in, in Isaac's mind, who is getting the bracha? Esav. So his mind is closer to his neshama. He is giving the, his machshava is closest <laughs> to his neshama than his speech. But that's what he's not ever saying here, that even though the pearl, it was Yaakov, but he's still giving the same bracha to Yaakov, even though he doesn't even realize he's giving it to him. Did Yaakov pay for this <clears throat> when later on when, when he got tricked with Leah? Yes. No, in, uh, in, uh, no. So he got tricked himself, Yaakov, why is Leah? Esau screams, no. you have it in uh, Has nothing Purim. to do with it? A month. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he says, Ken Shamu, like it says. Love the Bishkos Italian Milsa, El Bemaz Italian Milsa. The Gemara says about certain things. It's not a schus that you have. It's mamish mazel, like a person wants the lottery, right? It's mazel. It's not schus. Ki ini bischus lefi yadechid shtalshus, because schus means you have merits. That means you did good, you get good, but that's again limited. Shekach roile, it's fit for him. Mash ain't in the bemazel. When you say he had mazel. It's lemailem lefi er lefi It's infinitely greater. Afshen roy, even though he's not fit for it. Okay. Now, what happened? Why did this have to happen? So he says, like interesting. This bracha had to come to fix the etzadas, because the nachash also came b'mirba upito shenachash. The nachash. Swindled around with Chava, right? He pushed her, he did it, whatever it was. Shayda, Shayod in his Gashu Elimis. Because through the Chate Tadas, the world became grub, coarse. Venas, the eat of Gashmi's Baruchnis. And therefore, it became a mix in Chate Tadas. We learned now there's no good with bad, no bad with good. Without good, everything's famished, everything's mixed. Well, let's talk in that. And to fix this of what he did. With swindling, what the Nacha swindled Chava into sinning with Eitz Das, he had to fix it. Also, he did from the opposite to the opposite, meaning and what he did was he did revelations of Elokus v'Iton Lecholikim. He revealed such great revelations of Elokus. He brought it down even into Gashmis. And he says like this, If Yaakov Taka didn't get the brachas, if, but, if Esav would have gotten the brachas, and Yaakov didn't, it would have only gotten it on Ruchnias. Like it says earlier, by Rivka, she had the picture on her shoulder, so Kabbalah says, Medr says also, Kadam is Chav Dalid. What a hey. Chav Dalid, 24 books of Chumah, of Tatanach. The Chad al that's again the level of Rivka. In other words, Yad Yitzchak would have been able to give him a level that comes even into the Gashmis, not with Taita, higher than Taita. Rivka, in other words, what he would have gotten without this. He would have gotten uh, the level of Rivka, which is the level of uh, only Baruchnias. Yitzchok was able to bring it down all the way even into the Gashmistika world. Because Esau didn't have the keli? Esau didn't need a keli, it was Makif. He wanted to elevate Esau. The pearl they wish to make that, that Esau shouldn't get the Baruch. But he, he, he couldn't accept it. He couldn't. He couldn't but the Makif level, you don't need to accept. You can get. Hashem didn't want him to be giving a bracha to, to, to what's his name? To Esav. Okay.